In this video, you are going to learn about the uses of blood leaf. As the name implies, aside its blood boosting potential, it also helps in lowering blood sugar level in the body system. It works as an anti obesity and as anti malaria. It even does more. Blood leaf is a must in your garden. So, watch this video till end to learn the preparation and usage of blood leaf. Blood leaf is also known as Jacobinia. The botanical name is Justitia Kenya and the synonyms is Jacobinia Kenya. It belongs to the family Acanthaceae. Other common names are Brazilian plume, plume plant, paradise plant, king's crown. It is cultivated and sold as a decorative potted plant and also used in landscaping. The common names for blood leaf in Nigeria are hospital too far or blood leaf. It is also known as Hoguobara by the Igbos. Yorubas call it Ewege or Ewegeri, that is the Jehovah Witness leaf. There are also a couple of other plants commonly called blood leaf. So in this video, I will stick with Jacobinia. How can we grow Jacobinia? This plant is best propagated from the cutting of the stem. The stem cuttings are taken from the parent plant and then placed in individual pots and kept in a shaded location away from direct sunlight for a few weeks and then this should be re watered regularly. Medicinal properties of Jacobinia. The leaves and flowers of Jacobinia cooked in water is proven to reverse anemic condition, that is loss of blood. It also improves the blood leaf lipid profile because of its rich phytochemicals, nutrients and vitamin composition. Blood leaf has an anti-diabetic property. It helps to decrease the blood glucose level. Ethanolic extract has 200 mg per kg helps in the management of diabetics. Jacobinia also serves as an anti-obesity plant. The methanolic extract of Jacobinia leaf that is squeezed with methanol helps to combat anti-obesity. 10 ml of methanolic mix of Jacobinian leaf will help with obesity. Now that you have your crimson red Jacobinia extract, you can enjoy the extract to increase blood level. Take a cup of this for about three days. Has an anti-diabetic extract of the Jacobinia leaf with ethanol or methanol can be taken twice weekly. Then check your blood glucose level regularly to be sure it is under control. Kindly click on the like button, subscribe if you are yet to do so, 
and click the notification bell to be aware of weekly updates on the uses of medicinal plants around you. Also note that Jacobinian leaf extract should not be taken for more than three days in a row because of its contraceptive effect in men. In the next video, I will be talking on multivitamins alternative. The common fruit that can be used has multivitamins to improve your appetite and stay healthy. Kindly subscribe and turn on the notification button for the next video on how to improve your appetite and stay healthy. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.